I'm the honeybee. <laughs> like. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something a little different. I feel like I say that a lot now, um, but I, today, I'm getting some more tattoos. So I figured I would just do a short little vlog um, kind of as I'm going through them. Oh, someone just pulled up next to me. I'm gonna stop filming now. Okay, I moved. I literally hate, hate, hate vlogging because I always feel like people are looking at me most of the time because they are, because when someone is shoving a camera in their own face, your first instinct is what makes them think they're so special that they should be filming themselves. So these are just my personal like insecurities uh, making themselves known. Also I have a mosquito bite on my toe. That's really itchy and I don't like it. But uh, today I am ruining my life with some hand tattoos. And I'm really, really excited. So I will be getting a little bumblebee, or not a bumblebee, a honeybee on this finger, like right here. And then on like the side of my hand right here, I'll be getting some flowers. Um, I'll be getting like a little bouquet of wildflowers and a rose um, because my Grammy, uh, who's my mom's mom, passed away right before quarantine. It was literally like, the week before quarantine. So if she would have passed away just a couple days later, we wouldn't have been able to have a funeral for her, but she passed away just right before quarantine. So we were able to have a funeral, which ended up being a huge blessing. Um, and so roses were her favorite flower. So I will be getting a rose with some little wildflowers in memory of her. I have this right here for my other grandma who passed away um, a couple years ago. Peonies just always reminded me of her. So I got that for this grandma. And then for my other Grammy, I'll be getting some little flowers right here. So not, I was gonna get it like, this is hard to do with one hand, but I was gonna get it like here. <laughs> um, but my darling husband really just does not like tattoos on me, so. He was like, please, can you just not get it like right on your hand? So I compromised and moved it further down my hand. <laughs> um, so no, it's, it's yeah, we're, it's all good. But yeah, so my artist messaged me to let me know she's running a little bit late. So I'm currently in the CVS parking lot across the street from the tattoo place. Um, just chilling, trying not to be noticed, filming myself and waiting. And I'm really excited. So we'll see how this goes. I'm a little nervous because I know finger tattoos don't heal well. I know that they don't age well. I know that. Um, so I'm not expecting perfection. I just really, really like the idea. Um, and kind of the, so the idea behind the rose obviously is in honor of my Grammy because roses were her favorite flower. And uh, for the little honeybee, number one, it's really cute. And I think it's absolutely okay to get a tattoo purely because you like how it looks. Like if you like how something looks and you're not hurting anyone or you're not being offensive on purpose or whatever the case may be, like if you're not tattooing, like I wanna kill puppies on your arm or whatever, go for it. It's absolutely, you don't have to have some like super deep meaning behind your tattoos. I think that's dumb. You can totally get something purely because you think it's cute or nice or you just like how it looks. Um, so number one, I think it looks really cute. But number two, I actually do have a meaning behind it. And that is that, and this is gonna sound kind of silly. Um, so I started gardening recently. And of course bees are a big part of that because you know, a lot of plants require pollination bees are the thing that do the pollination. Um, and so it kind of got me thinking, I, I was sitting on my steps, I have my little plants surrounding my steps. So I was sitting on my steps and I saw the little bees kind of like going around pollinating the plants and like drinking their little nectar and doing their little honeybee thing. And it made me think of how as humans, we can either go around like pollinating um, with kindness and love and you know, just positivity. Um, and for me, you know, I, I'm very, my faith is very important to me. So I can either go around sharing the love of Christ with people and just exemplifying love to others and kindness to others. Or, you know, the alternative is like, then, you know, that love isn't being shared and those connections aren't being formed. And that's really detrimental. I mean, look at all the hate that we have in the world, all of the just horrible things that are happening and people just aren't nice to each other. Like the other day I had, and I might do a story time video of this because this was just such a hilarious experience. But the long and short of it is I tried to offer to my new neighbor who just had a baby to make them dinner. I don't know them. 
Um, but I, I know that they had had a baby and it's the kind of relationship where it's just like, hey, hey, as they're like walking their dogs or whatever. So I offered to make them dinner and it was really, really awkward. And the guy was like, that's too nice. Like that we're not used to that. Like we're not used to, you know, people being that nice to like, oh, you don't have to do that. That's so nice. And it got me thinking a little bit. So just kindness isn't something that's very common in the world anymore. Um, and so, I don't know, like the little honeybee is a little reminder to form those connections and have those moments where, you know, it might be a little bit awkward, but you just do something kind for a neighbor or for a stranger or for people that you know, or for yourself. So I am the honeybee and I would encourage you to also be the honeybee. And I feel absolutely ridiculous now. It like, it makes sense. And it's this like beautiful story in my head. But then when I tell it, it's like, I'm the honeybee. <laughs> like, <laughs> So uh, that is the story of my tattoos. We have, and my Apple Watch restarted. Cool. Cool. Thank you for that, Apple Watch. I think I have like 10 minutes until I'm supposed to be there, so I'll probably just head over there now. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in there. So we are done and I'm actually already home. I was gonna maybe like talk a little while I was driving, but that did not feel safe to me seeing as one hand is out of commission and it's typically advised to drive with at least one hand. So I decided to just wait until I got home, but it went really well. It was really quick for both tattoos. It was only like not even an hour. It was probably like 30, maybe 45 minutes because um, they were both pretty small guys. So yeah, without further ado, this is my B. And then, let's see, these are the flowers. So together, this is what my hand looks like. This is an awkward angle, so I might like, oh, <laughs> it's hard to do this um, with like, it's, it's awkward trying to hold my camera and this. So I freaking love them. Um, I very much wanted, like, I understand, here's the thing. Finger tattoos don't do well. I know I already said that earlier in the video. They just, they don't heal well usually, um, especially like teeny tiny fine lines, those can get messed up. So I knew it wasn't gonna be like a perfect B. So like kind of what I wanted was just, you look at it and it just looks really cool. I don't know how to explain like what I was going for, but I just wanted to like, you know, you look at my hand and it look a certain way. And I more than achieved that, or my artist more than achieved that. So shout out to my artist, Sarah. I will put her Instagram up here. She's awesome. She also did this, my volcanoes, as well as my wrist tattoos, saying not my will, but yours be done. That is probably my favorite tattoo I ever got, even though it was like a little bonus that she let me tack on to our appointment because she's amazing and awesome. But yeah, so as far as the pain goes, interestingly, these I would say hurt more up front than my other ones. Like with my other tattoos on my arms and my wrist and my forearm, it was kind of like after a while, it was like, oh, okay, ouch, but it wasn't that bad. Whereas in my finger and then at the bottom of my hand, kind of right as soon as she started tattooing, I was like, oh, ouch, okay. But they didn't take long at all, so it wasn't bad at all. And I don't mind getting tattooed, which is kind of funny because I have the world's lowest pain tolerance and I hate getting shots. I hate getting shots. I hate getting my blood drawn. I just, nope, 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 nope. But getting tattooed, I really don't mind. It's part of the process. And like, I heard it described lately, lately, why can't I talk right now? Um, I heard it described recently as productive pain. So when there's productive pain, like, getting a tattoo or having a baby, for some people it's easier to push through versus non-productive pain where it's like you don't get something at the end of it. So productive pain seems to be something I can deal with. Um, but I would say for the finger, it was probably like a six out of 10, maybe-ish. And then about the same for the bottom of the hand, but I love them, I love them. They're just like delicate, but these flowers, like they're so delicate. I love how it turned out. So I'm definitely thrilled. I'm definitely really glad I did this. I was watching a video from Snitchery the other day talking about her hand tattoo and how 
as like she loved it and then as, like as soon as she got home she was like oh my gosh what did I do and then for like a week after that she was like oh my gosh I regret this what did I do and then she ended up loving it I feel like I'm just already at the point where I'm like nope I love it I'm so glad I did this and I'm gonna go post something on Instagram with a snarky caption like well decided to ruin all my job prospects for the future <sighs> so I'm really thrilled with how it turned out I mean I would highly recommend it if it's something that you want to do go for it. There are so many places that'll hire you with visible tattoos. And even like with my nose ring, I worked at a physical therapy clinic and I was able to have my nose ring in like, and have my tattoos showing and things. And I've never had anyone say pretty much anything negative about my tattoos or my nose ring. Like even cute little old ladies will come up to me and be like, you know, normally I hate those bull rings, but it's just so small and dainty. It looks really cute on you. I've never had anyone be like, why'd you ruin your body like that? So I don't know. And I kind of like using that phrase for my own. Like, I'll just joke and be like, yep, I ruined my body. Just ruining my body some more. Just, oh, ruining my job prospects because I think it's funny and because it doesn't have to limit you. So I'm a big believer in like, make your body look however you want your body to look. And no one else can really say anything about it. If you're not hurting yourself, if you're not hurting anyone. Um, when I was younger, I saw this movie. <laughs> it was called Armless and it was about a man. It's apparently a very real mental disorder but it was about a man who wanted to like cut his own arms off um it was like a dark comedy and it was the strangest thing i've ever heard of in my life it was the strangest movie i've ever seen in my entire life but basically the, the movie follows this man in his quest to get someone to cut his arms off but obviously there's like ethical dilemmas with that so doctors wouldn't do it like it was a really strange movie but if you're not doing that um if you're not trying to like hurt yourself make your body look how you want it to look and then find a life that allows you to do that. So I'm very fortunate in that I'm a freelancer and I work for myself. So yeah, all right, people are coming now. So, all right, that's all, bye. All right, so here you can see a little better. We got the cute little rose for my Grammy with some little wildflowers and some leaves and the bee. So then if you just like look at my hand, it's like, boom. I love it. I love it. Yay! I'm so glad I did this. So glad. So it is two days after my appointment and I'm still just loving my tattoo. Um, well, tattoos. So we got this guy and we got this guy and I'm really, 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 really happy with them. Um, so far the healing process has not been bad at all. It didn't even sting after Like after I woke up the night after I got my tattoos so far. It's been really easy I've just been keeping them clean. Uh, there was some tattoo balm that my artist um, was actually selling oh. My tea is my tea is ready and yes, that was like actual tea not like tea um, but yeah, so it's it's been really easy so far. I've just been trying to avoid using my hands pretty much at all, which is like the most high stakes game of like, don't bump your wet nails ever. <laughs> so there's already a couple places I'm gonna have to get touched up just that I'm noticing like I, I use my hands a lot. So it's, that's how it's gonna go. But fortunately, that's gonna be pretty easy to do. But yeah, so I'm still like super happy that I did this. I think it's really cute. I like doing this because then it's like right there. <laughs> I don't know. My husband hates them. Most of my family hates them. <laughs> but that's okay. I've gotten a lot of, uh, oh, okay. Or people just like not even saying anything when it's like, it's right here. So it's okay because it's exactly what I wanted and I freaking love them. So that's the tea on that. All right, day five, and we are officially at the itchy scabbing stage. So it's actually healing really well. I really like the balm that my uh, shop gave me or that I bought at my shop. I feel like it's healing better than most of my other tattoos have. So we're doing well, we're doing well. It's a little bit tender. So I'm kind of just, again, careful not to bump it on anything or catch it on any fabric or anything. Trying to only use one hand is making me appreciative for having both my hands, but so far, so good. And I'm still absolutely loving them. So 
Yay! All right, it is officially uh, eight days since I got my tattoos. So you can see I just put some lotion on them. So sorry if they look a little gross. They have not actually peeled yet, but I'm pretty sure they're about to. So you can kind of see that it looks a little bit, not quite scabby, but kind of that same kind of look. It's hard to see on the B. And I actually, I have some spots I'm already gonna need to get touched up. But yeah, the healing process has been really, really easy. Um, I actually did go to CrossFit this morning, my first time back, which is why I'm icing my leg. <laughs> um, so I went to CrossFit this morning and it went pretty well. I was a little nervous when I saw that they had started to peel. I almost was thinking they weren't going to, which I know like isn't really a thing, but whatever. So yeah, so far so good. It's been a very easy healing process. I've been really, really careful with them though. Like I've been trying to uh, not use my hand as much as possible, I'm trying to keep them out of the sun as much as possible just everything like that so but yeah it's been a really easy healing process i'm really really happy with them still and that's pretty much it for now all right it is day let's see okay i got it done on tuesday last tuesday so into this tuesday would be seven wednesday thursday friday it's like day 10 i think and we're doing well uh it is peeling right now both of my tattoos are ooh, how do i <laughs> both of my tattoos are peeling so yeah super fun stuff you can kind of see let's see it won't really focus come on buddy focus it doesn't want to focus right now. That's okay. Um, so I just put some more lotion on and they've been doing really, really well. They're not peeling too badly. Uh, it actually is peeling very differently from any other tattoo I've gotten even by the same artist, which is kind of interesting. But so far the healing process has been absolutely nothing. So nothing really to report. Just a little update, day 10, and we're finally, finally having some real peeling going on. All right, so it is officially two weeks after my tattoo. This one is healing really, really nicely. I just put some moisturizer on it, but they're definitely peeling. And then this one, I actually lost a little bit of the eye today. I'm really sad. <laughs> so there's just a couple teeny lines that are gonna need touching up, um, but that's obviously to be expected with a hand tattoo, but let me see if I can get the light here. But yeah, you can see right there on the right side, uh, just a teeny, like the outside line of the eye is missing. But obviously, like if you look at the, ta oh, hi, Blue. Uh, if you look at the tattoo as a whole, like you don't really notice. Um, and that's like probably the most noticeable little chunk that's missing because the little piece that fell out down here on the wing. Oh, he's being so cute. Blue. Hey, Blue. You're such a good boy. Um, the little piece that fell out here on the wing is where like my finger naturally bends. I'm pretty sure that's why that happened. So like the eye is the most noticeable thing out of anything. And it's really like when you just look at the tattoo, you can't really tell unless you're like specifically looking at the little details, which with a hand tattoo, like you're, you're never gonna get those like perfect crispy lines to stay forever. So yeah. I'm still super happy with them and hopefully the healing process will finish up soon because anytime I shower, anytime I work out, it's just kind of a pain. So I'm ready for the healing to be done. So two weeks in and it's looking really good. Still love them. Alrighty guys, so it is Tuesday the... Oh, I don't have my Apple watch on. It's the 14th. So it has been officially three weeks since I got my tattoos and the healing process is pretty much done. So there is a little bit of damage to the B. It is now a one-eyed B, which I think I talked about in my last clip. Um, and that's my own dumb fault. And I, I realized that the reason that I've probably had trouble healing my hand tattoos that I haven't had with my other tattoos is that I actually have a condition called Raynaud's disease where I have really, really bad circulation to my feet and to my hands. So obviously your blood is what carries all like the nutrients and the oxygen and the things that your body needs to heal to your body 
to your extremities, to your fingers. And when the blood can't really get there, that healing process is not gonna be fantastic. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Um, it, I am a little disappointed that the bee lost his eye, but that's easily touched up. And that is just how my body is. Um, that's not at all the, uh, the fault of the artist. I also kind of lost a little bit of shading at the bottom of the bee, but I feel like it almost looks like, like light is shining on one side of the bee. I don't know. But yeah, so I've had them for about a month now and I still just love them. The artist did an incredible work uh, or did incredible work and I'm so happy with how they turned out. So I'm sure once I get them touched up, like that even, like you wouldn't even really tell unless you knew to look at it, that the eye is kind of missing a little bit. And it's not even like, let's see if I can, if I can get it, but there's still like a faint trace of the outline of the eye. Um, but that's something that's so easily touched up and fixed. So, and I, I did read beforehand that your hand tattoos, you probably have to get them touched up once or twice before they're gonna look their absolute best. But yeah, so all in all, I love them. I find myself, I'm like trying to like use my hands this way a lot more now. Cause it's like, I wanna like show off my bee cause I think it's so cute. I love it. I'm really, really glad that I did it. So I've started, um, I get cold really easily. So now that coffee shops are open, I'll go and like work in a coffee shop for a little bit. And I always take a little sweater with me. And so I can see like my little bee peeking out from the sweater and then like the top of the flower peeking out from the sweater. And that's the look that I wanted. I kind of wish I would have brought the flower up a little bit more. So it was a little bit more visible when I'm wearing long sleeves, but I can always add to it. And maybe I will add to it because I really just love the look of hand tattoos and I love flowers and florals and like pretty, pretty fun things. So yeah, all in all to say the healing process was not bad. It was a little bit extended just because I think of my circulation issues and the fact that, you know, blood can't really get where it needs to go in my hands. So that was to be expected. And I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I probably should have been a little more careful with my hand for longer. Whoops, uh, my husband called me and cut off the video, but I probably should have been a little more careful. Um, like I've been going to CrossFit several, like three times a week for the last two weeks. Um, so I took like a week off after I got the tattoos and then went back after a week and just was super, super careful, but I probably should have been a little bit more careful, but all in all, I'm absolutely in, in oh my gosh, <laughs> I need coffee, you guys. I'm absolutely in love with how they turned out. Uh, I'm really, really happy I did it. So to all the people who were like, don't get your hands tattooed. You're not going to look professional and you're just going to regret it. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. I actually, it's kind of funny. I got a new client this past week and uh, on our call, she, I, I reached out to her. Uh, she wanted to have an interview. So I got on a call with her and she goes, yeah, I was stalking your Instagram. I post mostly dogs too. I think we're going to get along great. And I was like, literally the first picture when you go to my Instagram is my hand tattoo. So all the people who are like, don't you want to be able to get a job in the future? There you go. If they don't like my hand tattoos, I don't want to work with them. So, well, they don't have to like my hand tattoos, but if they have a serious problem with my hand tattoos to the point where they're going to forego my services because they don't like my hand tattoos, then I'm good. I can find a lot of other clients. So I'm really happy with it. I'm really glad that I did it. The healing process wasn't that bad, um, but definitely something to take into account if you do have like poor circulation or Raynaud's or something. Definitely consider that when you're thinking about getting tattoos on the parts of your body where your circulation is maybe not the best. But that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hated it and wanna give it a thumbs down just because you don't like hand tattoos, then okay, Karen, thanks. Anyways, for the engagement. Um, I can tend to get a little sassy about my tattoos, but I love them. I think that they make me part of who I am. Like they are a big part of my personality and how I like to express myself. So I love tattoos. And if people have a problem with that, Sorry, but I have yet to meet someone who just really has an issue with the way that I look. So I'm very fortunate in that way, but all right, give me a big thumbs up on the video, comment down below. If you have hand tattoos, if you'd like to get hand tattoos, what are your plans for your next tattoos? Or if you don't have any tattoos for your first tattoo. So I'd love to hear from you. Here I go again. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos because I have a lot more tattoos planned. So hopefully there will be a lot more tattoo vlogs. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.